hello, 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 and good morning. This is Joanna the Jewel Design, and welcome. We are here today with a craft and chat. Oh, so, um, if you've been watching Rhett and Gail, everybody has done a wonderful review, um, a reveal of the newest kit, Dashing Through Winter. And the goal was to, of course, keep going last week. Didn't quite go as planned, um, but to work on a project of my own. Um, I revealed it last Tuesday, so it's been about a week. I revealed the whole kit, so I'll put that at the end if you need to see it one more time. Um, but Gail showed it this Sunday. Lorette showed it yesterday here, you know, Monday morning. She has her glossing um, bad cover journal she's working on with it. And I'm doing a semi um, trifold, um, what do you want to call it? A trifold journal cover, I guess. We're going to play with it. I had an idea because I wanted to, like I said, I wanted to, as I showed you last week, to keep this page. Um, if you didn't fold it in half and made it your inside signature where you could see the whole thing like we had done with my shaker bait page to where, yes, you were, you know, you're sewing in here, but you really weren't cutting her in half because you could see the whole thing in the middle of your signature. Um, the other idea was to, to cut, you know, to trim it or cut it right at the third marks and fold it in some way to use it, whether you glued it onto your page and let it flip outwards, or in this case, I'm sort of making that tri-fold cover, and now it's not perfect. I had problems, this was perfect. I was centering it on this, and I didn't quite go where it needed to go. I didn't really think to measure it, so we're gonna have some fun with it. It is a little extended on each end, but that's where I can put lace, that's where I can do rickrack, that's where I can have that extended sort of border on it and have fun with it. I did go ahead and use some book pages and I went ahead and mosh podged it around the edges so that it, um, the cardboard was covered. Because on the back side, we're gonna, we're gonna distress it and then we're gonna collage and cover the inside before we lay pockets, belly bands, um, and other goodies on top of it. So we're gonna sort of decorate the fun parts where it stands up. You know, you can see the journal here. You're gonna see, you know, pockets and things on the inside. So maybe it's something that does stand up and you lay it down to write in it. That's gonna have a nice little skinny journal in it. And uh, which is why this is a little bit split so that I can have the room that I need to sit in here and sew in um, a journal. Or I may use, if I had the right color, I do have some stretchy string where we can f slide it in more like an old school traveler's notebook and it's gonna be um, rubber banded. So you could pull it out right on it and put it back in. So maybe that might be another thing too, so I'm not putting any more stress on this poor cardboard um, and putting holes in it. Maybe we'll do the belly band. We'll do the sort of rubber band type ordeal, which I don't know where my stuff is. I know I have blue, pink, and purple, so let's hope I have another color. We can put that in there um, or something stretchy to work with. So that will be my last tidbit. It will be to find something to rubber band that in. So there we go. So that's what we're doing today is we're sort of going to work on the inside of this and then I'll just throw a skinny, a skinny journal together and at the end reveal, you know, anything fun I may have done to the skinny journal. Um, I think on this one, the only thing we have to keep in mind because of the length is that when we um, fold it, the backside's going to need to be folded inward and made an extra pocket or just glued down or to make it thicker. I think this is going to be the front of the skinny and I'm going to take some of the fussy cuts and ribbon and whatever and we're going to collage here on top for something pretty and fun. Um, but then this one's going to have to get folded in so we don't lose him. So I may make him a huge pocket on the back cover of the skinny journal. Um, I may just glue him down so that he's just the inside and we're just going to collage here for the cover. Oh no, we're going to start. We're going to do this. We're going to, um, I'm going to glue this onto it. So, you know, when I glue it, I need to glue them down. So it's a really nice solid back, nice and hearty, front's decorated, um, or we'll make it a pocket. So things like that, keep in mind when I'm using these pages because they're not made for skinny, that we'll have to do some folding and tipping like we did with the flip flop journal. So I'm taking some folio thoughts. I'm taking a flip flop. I'm taking a trifold. I'm just doing a couple different things all in one and just making my own little creation and um, taking all my favorite things and I don't know, making something that may be really pretty on the on the piano or the shelf or in your, you know, in your favorite craft room that you get to look at it however you want and then just, you know, write in it when you want. So we'll see. Okay, so today, now on the back side, I had two different ideas. I thought at first on the back side, the back back cover of the journal that you're putting in here, um, that when you flipped it over, we had a set of pockets here that we were going to stuff things into. We're going to do the belly band down the middle. 
And then I was going to do a flip out um, envelope. I was going to have us cover it, but we're going to flip out off on the flaps um, the potential of an envelope or another writing space. But then I thought, well, maybe when you opened it, you'd want your maybe your pockets more on the on the cover, and use the back side as something that you would have flip out from, right? To extend maybe your journal spacing, journal space. So I'm a little, like now I'm debating. Um, they're about the same width, so it doesn't seem to matter there. Is just deciding where I want to do. I know this is belly bands, um, the belly band, but I don't know which way, to, which side to do the pockets on. And I'm sort of thinking more like this. You'll have your cards and your belly band of stuff right here instead, and we're gonna do the flip out. So what I thought we would do is take this um, cute little guy, and we would fold him, and he would more likely sit he sit here can't you know sit here and there's room for him to go a little bit over because of the layout of everything and you could just open him up maybe and flip it open and add things to it like we've done in the past we'll stencil it stamp it i think i have some I hate to do the word merry christmas but well maybe we'll lightly stencil um merry christmas or something of snowflakes i have to see what i have um on the inside and then that would allow us, you know, some writing space and able to glue photos and things to the edges of the tabs as you saw fit. So maybe we'll do that. We'll put it right there. We're going to glue paper down. And then that way, when he, you know, he's sitting there really cute and we can use it. So I like that idea. So I think we're going to stick with that. So the big thing now is not stocked. That is not the stack. That is going to be our, no, that's going to be our envelope, doggy envelope. So I don't forget. We're going to go dog envelope so I don't get confused either when I'm working on stuff don't want to get confused so how are we all doing oh my gosh I feel like we are almost I mean the end of this week is the middle of December already I know that's not Russian I realize this weekend we're like oh my gosh we are two weeks away from you know Christmas and I'm like no mm -hmm. I think I got everything purchased but I don't have anything wrapped yet. I just, oh yeah. No, my corner tags and stuff like this are a little wide for all of this. So we are going to have to trim things down to make a stacked um, type envelope. And surprisingly, my little one fits perfectly. But my stacked and my corner one is a little wide. Um, so we're going to have to be really careful. And we're going to have to trim, you know, pretty crafty. Now, the only sad, sad part is I was hoping to get this guy somehow interlocked with all of this. So you had pocket over pocket. Like this one may be a small pocket. We're going to stop it. And then we're going to have a bigger pocket underneath. But I may have to do some collaging to see how this all pans out. Now there will be a backing on this, which I thought we were going to back with the um, wood the wood guy. Um, I was trying to sort of stack one on top of the other and just work our way up. And now I think it's possible because everything has to be trimmed in. Before I was like, oh, this is so wide and this is so short. Now we have to trim it all to fit, so I think we're going to be okay. Because I didn't want to block this. I want to put a word here. You know, I want to decorate the corner. And then you have her and her, and then you have this. So I think everything is going to drop into one or the other, except for the top one. We're going to use the edge, and we'll make that a short pocket um, on the top. And then we can do the taller things in the front of that. So there we go. So with that, though, there's not a whole lot I need to cover, um, which is fine, which is great. We're going to use this the best we can and hope. So um, I don't need the gusset, I don't think, for that. And I don't want to accidentally, like, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think I want to. I want to have the ability to put a full tag in there. I have large tags, so I do want the ability to put a full tag in here if I want to. All right. So there's that. So we will trim that. We will trim the, so I'm going to trim, of course, areas where I don't want to lose the graphic. And then we're going to, you know, leave the rest. Now, normally I would leave this as a hole punch, and I'm going to have to. And I think when we do it, we don't, I want to make sure we don't lose him. There's things I just don't want to lose while I do it, so. And her, him, I'm going to go all the way to the top. Oh, perfect. I think that's going to work. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay. Yay. Now, with this one, I was just going to, I was going to put this darling um, tree page, this chunk of the page, behind this. But truthfully, there's not much there. There really isn't. So, I think I just need a little bit of a book page or something. There's no point wasting a whole page. 
for that. And I'm like, mm, that's not. That's. I wonder if. I was trying to wonder if I had a. But I had a. That's all blue though. I said I do have the blue card. I could put blue in the bottom, blue on the top. But I wonder if that'd be too much. I have a little blue in the background. So you start and stop with blue. I can use the card as a as a base piece in the background. Now I'm gonna have leftovers of this actually. So let me use the blue paper. I just realized uh, I'm gonna do the belly band next to it, which that would be cute. They have a little bit of blue up here in the belly band here. I'm gonna blue do blue here, green lace and um, snowflake um, trim for the belly band on this page. So um, and this one I might even glue it in the middle so we have two sets of pockets here to put sm all those small cards into. So um, I'm gonna use the blue on that one. So I mean I have leftover blue. Perfect. Okay, so even better. This is a thinner piece of paper I was testing out, and I could just cover almost this whole thing if I wanted to, and then that way everything had a nice smooth thing to go into it, and I wasn't really worrying about wasting any paper, but that's just blue. No one's going to see that. Nope, we're going to cut, and then I'm going to fussy cut what I want in that corner, because I want to be able to see, I want to see at least a snowflake above that green. See, I'm going to want to see that snowflake. I'm going to want to see the snowflake. Or even the, um, even if it's upside down, the snow globe. So, yeah, no, we'll fussy cut. We're going to fussy cut it. We're going to make sure it's exactly what I want. Um, now, the papers, of course, are small. This is, you know, bigger than, as you notice when we trim everything up. This page was simply just white trimmed off and it wasn't going to fit, but I needed excess. Um, it's not going to fit, so we need to distress the edges terribly. And then, I think I'm going to, we're going to do the, the deckled cut so that it has sort of a rough edge in distress. Um, so we are getting, ew, 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 I'm so excited, hold on. Um, so we are getting, you know, a nice antique look. And I get to pull out on occasion, not the orange. Where, sorry guys, I might have my head's in the, I don't need orange. I'm trying to figure out where my colors is. I've not used my silver. Um, oh goodness, there we go. Hopefully it's all good. I have not used my hickory smoked, which is my silver that I use this time of year, uh, for a while. Oh my gosh, I didn't, I haven't had a chance to use it. I haven't done any blue, um, journaling this year. Oh my gosh, and yeah, uh, my winter, which I am working on next. I do, when I'm done with this, want to work on some old stuff. Not old stuff. Um, I said I got from Trader Joe's the other day a, a bag, right? And it had the blue and white gingerbread houses on it. And I want to fold this to make it a cover. And I had my cozy, um, my cozy winter kit from last year. And I want to do, I want to make something inside this. Oh, I cannot wait. Some kind of folio thing, probably for me, or maybe in, in a new December da daily for next year. I don't know. I did blue the first year. I did Christmas last year. I'm doing Christmas this year, so maybe I'm going to put prep one and I'll have a cozy winter uh, December daily set up for next year. Because sometimes, I almost didn't make it this year. Like, you guys got to have fun watching this one, and I'm up to page 11. I'm written in. I have to go do a whole page of, I have to do a bunch of print work, though. I need to take some photos. I have some photos I need to print. And I got my new, I got my new uh, sewing machine, but I had this project out. It was a mess, so I haven't been able to do any sewing. But, um, yeah, we're, we're coming up. We got the first thing done and we're coming up and I've got things written in here. So, um, I'm really stoked. You know, we're about to come up to the end of the first, first ordeal. And, uh, today's the 12th, right? Yeah. So today I get to write in it and I'm so stoked and it's holding out and doing good. So, um, I'm really happy about that. So, okay. So how are we all doing? Um, I just happened to pay attention to uh, my husband's family and where, how they're doing. They're up in Spokane, Washington, and um, they are at ha a high of, you know, 30. Uh, by the weekend, next is upcoming weekend, they are supposed to be a high of, like, 16. No snow, surprisingly, um, is expected. I mean, I think a little bit's coming, could come over the weekend if things hold out, um, which is, you know, which would explain the 16, but, yeah, they're at a high of 30, and I'm just, like, and I hear I'm complaining about, you know, 53. Oh my gosh, I need to remember I'm, you know, I shouldn't complain so much. I'm like, mm, I shouldn't complain so much. But I'm Kelly girl. I can't help it. I, I don't know what to do with cold. Oh my gosh, my fire's going right now while I am, you know, out, out here in my studio freezing. 
I should turn my heater on, but then you guys are going to hear that humming, and that doesn't do me any good, so we won't do that. Let's make sure everything's still going. I'd hate to go through this whole thing and find out I wasn't recording, because then you guys get a flip through and not, you know, a chat with me process video. Ugh. So, how's your weather? Are cold, hot? Well, not hot. I don't think anybody's doing hot. But I did a friend earlier in the week who said, yeah, she was, oh, 70 degrees and hanging out, and I'm like, ugh. That was, it was, uh, Texas. I was sort of shocked. I'm like, really? But I don't think my brother and them, they're doing pretty good too. So I, but it's Arizona for you. They aren't, they're, you know, 70 and, you know, content, I guess. So, okay. So for this one, now it is on, like I said, it's on a lighter piece of paper, which is great. It doesn't matter. I don't mind it a little bit of, um, you know, brown sort of shows through, keeps it antique -y. And we are going to try to eyeball, ha ha. I know, where I think I need to do my first cut, give or take, right? So okay, it comes up a little short because it is distressed, and I, I don't know how to distress that. I guess I may have to distress that middle section, huh, before I get too far in. So let's eyeball this and cross our fingers. I don't cut it too short. And so yeah, belly band on that would be pretty. I really wasn't even paying attention to what I was cutting off. I just went for it, didn't I? Woohoo, just go for it, right? Try not to think about this too much. I did think about it, of course, quite a bit on my own, off and on during the week, trying to figure out what to do. Um, I did a lot of, you know, crafting on that first Monday. I was so stoked after the birthday party. And then Tuesday, I ran a bunch of errands trying to get shopping done, which, eh, went okay. And then, um, God, I have no room, guys. You've, you should already see the side of my, my side table over here. It is crazy. Okay, so definitely short, but a little too wide. Um, so I can leave it, but then I have to worry about the fold constantly. So I'm going to have to trim it. Um, we want to keep it inside there. And usually when I do these things, gosh, I like to make sure everything's bordered. I really don't like it when, like, there's room in the top and bottom and not, you know. What I could do, I think to go with the, with the banners, I could go down here and put extra lace up here. And that would help. Like do a, a sort of flippy lace thing up here, and then put the put the belly band in here, and um, I just got some actually perfect. So nice little white lace here. Then if I put these throw flakes across here, I think it would help. So we can layer some stuff up here and make that hide it hidden. So I do not like. So I do need to trim a little off. Um, and here's the fun part because I'm guessing at this as usual. Trying to decide what is technically straight and what is not. You think you cut it straight and it doesn't cut right. It doesn't cut the way you want it to. But I will have to distress the inside, at the the trim pieces because, um, and then I bring it up just a little bit so you can see the distress. But I want to make sure everything's straight. It's not at all. I don't know why. I have to decide what is straight and then if this is considered straight and this is what I'm doing it off of and that's if my folds are straight I think that's the other problem is I'm not straight on my folds as you can tell um that's my other problem I am not straight on my folds so if this is straight it's we'll, call it, we'll consider this straight then I'm just gonna have to you know I'm sort of using this as I'm just going along it using my finger to sort of give me my area and edge let's try that Mm. Oh, so I know Dawn is working on some pretty tags. Hello, my love. I hope your your pneumonia is continuing to oh, subside. Good lord, poor lady. I'm so sorry. Um, I know she was working on she was working on some pretty tags, which I will be stoked if she. I, I said she'd send me some, but don't stress. I know you're not feeling good. Um, which is super sweet though. I love getting them because then I hold on to them and ideas and sharing them. Um, okay, so if I want to make that straight, if that's my straight, I'm sort of making sure, like, I don't think everything is as straight as it looks like. So, everything seems okay, but I'm just going to take a hedge up, a smidge off, trying to assume that this is the straight edge. Can't guarantee that's a straight edge, but, oh, I don't know. This is where I make myself messy. It's so where you said you keep trimming the hedge and it just gets shorter and shorter and worse and worse. Not quite, because I'm going to fold that, and it's still not enough. Oh. What I don't want to do is when I fold this back, I don't want to have that extra edge. I really want to make sure it's tucked inside this crease, 
So, um, I am definitely, you know, I feel a little bit better about the bottom. <sighs> Gotta keep trimming. Okay. Alright, let's see if I, I don't have a, I have a, I guess I do have a measurement in here, huh? Alright, so, right now I definitely have it, if I'm not straight here, um, three and a, let's get down to three and a quarter, you know, it should be three and a half, you know, it's like, well, let's do this. Let's see what happens, I know these little pieces, I really shouldn't be throwing them away, huh? I could add that to the... All right, well, distress it, just all the way around, add to the top, we're going to make that work. Okay, voila, I know, process video for sure. <laughs> I wonder, too bad I don't have anything a little darker. Yeah, I don't have the darker stuff, so to get a little bit more of an uh, espresso would be, would have been, would be sort of nice with this kit. I could totally see doing an espresso on the wood, or on the cardboard, um, to give you a different sense. I don't think I could bend this the other way to do what I wanted to do. i to be really careful. I did Mod Podge around the edges, and then I uh, glitter glued down the... It's going to get covered, so I guess I could just get I could get around it. Um, you know, and then glitter glue the paper, but yeah, there's some... It's a thick piece of... um, good piece of flat... What is it? It's not cardboard, but it's that... Press board. I always have to think all the different things. Uh, it's definitely a, more of a press board... Then you would use great for covers and stuff. Great for if you're doing ring binders. This is great. It came in one of my one of my last orders that came through to me. And um, I was like, oh, well, you know, that would be a really nice solid cover. Just cover it. But it's a little more temperamental. It's probably not meant to be bent much. Um, so I did sort of goof on that part. But that's okay. Now I'm going to oh, make sure I get the right one. Um, I am going to use silver on any of the blue stuff. If I'm going to distress it, I'm going to put silver on it. I can't help myself. I'm not that I don't mind, but we're gonna get a little bit more dusty and the hickory and the silver. I'm the closest thing to silver I could find at the time, and I really did love it actually, though, for the snowy winter kits last year um, and the year before. When I did my whole, um, I got it just in time so I could distress every edge of my first December daily, um, which was I which is when I put the two snowy winter kits together. And there's two volumes, um, and I was able to, you know, really, I really enjoyed having that silvery, um, smoked feel around it, and instead of always using antique photo. All right, so we're going to do a little bit on the bottom, just a little bit of, um, leave a little bit of space on the bottom, but not a whole lot, just enough, just a little, though if you see a little on the top, we're not too worried about it. And I'm wondering, though, and after all of that, right, I think I'd rather have this available on the bottom, and then we have our, where'd it go, our laces and stuff up here. I know I'm covering, I may leave that, yeah, sticking up, leave a little bit, you can see it, or fold it and layer it. Maybe what we're going to do is we're going to do more of that. Oh, I like that. Okay, we'll layer it a little bit so it has some ruffle to it. And then we can tuck the belly band underneath there accordingly. All right, so there's an easy fix. All right, so let me get this put aside so I do not cut myself. And glue, 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 which glue do I want? I uh, think I'm going to start with the glue stick simply because it's just a little quicker. And um, woo, I can always go back over. Um, edges and stuff with the glitter glue. When you have that little gorgeous little silver thing, um, it's a lot easier to do that. And since I'm gluing onto this, as long as I don't press glue, it dries clear and all that. Is. Okay, so it's definitely a thinner piece of paper. So it's not as, you know, but we're going to start from the bottom because that's what I need to know for sure. That's sitting where I want it to sit. And, you know, it has its... Yeah, see, I didn't really cut it straight, so no matter what I do, it's going to be, you know, imperfect. But that's okay. Art is perfectly imperfect. It's not supposed to be perfection. If it's perfection, it's mass-made. It's not a piece of work. It's not a piece of, and that's, it's not, see, oh, God, I don't know what's um, It is not a piece of handmade, you know, handmade craft if it's perfect. 
Speaking of which, oh my gosh, I'm, I love this lady. Um, I've enjoyed most of her ba Bibles. I have, you see me more times than not, use my purple pen. I had a gorgeous blue one with kitty cats on it. Uh, not too, well, you know, sometime last year until I completely toasted the, pit, the pen. This one's still in decent condition. I just um, sort of wanted a change of scenery because um, I had this blue one forever. Loved it. Had a, you know, and I had um, a kitty cat thing on it, and, um, but it got to a point where the pen and the bowl, everything was starting to come unglued. I just abused it. So now it's as pretty and hangs as it is about, as a, you know, pretty hanging thing, and it'll end up on a journal. But I had to go get, I know she had them, had them on sale, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, and she had, see if I can see it, a gorgeous, uh, silvery blue and snowman pin for your bottles. And I'm all about blue and snowflakes and snowmen this time of year. And I figured this would be great all the way up till February and I could totally enjoy it. And so I have to share. This is Bottle bo bottle Babbles by Cynthia. And um, she's on Etsy, as you can see. Uh, BabblesItsy.com or BottleBabblesItsy.com And you, so there you go. A little, little Etsy share there. But I, uh, yeah, totally love it. Um, I love when I have brand new pins. Oh my gosh, they work so well. Then they get junked up. <laughs> well, then they get all junked up. And but the, you know, the beads and the and the um, the charms. Then I just end up putting on a journal later. Like I will end up putting them. You know, the purple may end up, may end up you know, sewn into a, the front of a journal from my purple journal. And the blue one, I hate to give it away, but you never know. I might find a pretty blue one and go, oh my gosh, it's the perfect thing. And it gets sold later, but I'm going to use it in the meantime. Okay. So, yeah. No, I, I love her things. Um, I know there's a lot of ladies, a couple different ladies out there who probably do these, but I don't know. So far, I've been really happy with just the, the beads and the charms and the quality of the, of the, of the pin. So, that hasn't let me, hasn't let me down. So, anyway, there you go. My little uh, spiel there. I wanted to share that. I'm trying to do a little bit more of that when I can. So, yeah, I got a little dirt on it, on my fingers, but we're going to cover it, so now, I guess we just go at it. Let me just go for it. Why am I waiting? I think I'm going to put the silver on this, too. I know it has a bit of reddish-brown. I had a weird, I had a red-based um, uh, outline, and um, now what you might hear, God, I hope you don't, but my neighbor is getting her bathroom fixed, and her floor's redone, and it's been a long haul, but, and they're like, mm, two doors down, but I don't know because my garage is not well insulated. Well, I can't say that. My walls are covered with uh, sheetrock, but um, my garage door is just crap. I freeze in here. I thought I was hoping the driving, the, driving my daughter to school would keep, keep some heat in the, in the garage with the car, but it's going to be, like I said, a high of 53 today, so probably not. All right, so... I think I'm just going to heavily do silver on this to try to reduce some of the red that I can't seem to cut off. I did a reddish, um, there we go. Well, well definitely. It's a little more than I wanted, but it's okay. We're going to give it that nice grungy, you know, it's a sleigh ride. It's fireplaces. It's winter, you know, dashing through winter. It's like, what do you need? I wish I, was, I didn't think about the more fireplacey. It's definitely an outside sleigh ride kit, but all right, that's all right. And I may not even use all of it, so we'll see what what parts we use. Now, you're going to have to forgive me. I just realized... Oh, you're going to kill me. Hopefully, I don't have to go too far. Um, I just realized my snowflake row is probably sitting in its box. All right. It's okay. All right. It's not that far away. Give me one second. I'll grab the whole box, and that way I'm not sorting through it without you guys. I have a box of Christmas stuff uh, from the previous year. Because, oh my gosh, you can only only do so much and uh, I only have so much room to store stuff and um, scraps and things like that so like I do with my hobby planners I rotate stuff because if I didn't so I have this kind of ribbon but I think it just would hide everything but this is what I want that is what I'm looking for oh so speaking of which see, see, these are this is part of the cozy winter stuff I made a flip a horizontal flip and all these cute little images and I had images on one side and I had clusters on the other so I made these last year so there is a, a video I believe for this um, if there is I will put it right here 
in the video. I'll click on it. You can always go back and look at some of the fun little things that I did uh, last year. And I don't know. I don't. You know what? Truthfully, I don't think I did them on camera. I take that back. I bet you I had a hard time. I um, isn't that cute? I think I tried to, and huh, the camera didn't work for me. I had a complete chaos. So all I could do was reveal them. So if I do have the reveal on these, which I mean I just did them. I guess you don't really need much else on me, right? But isn't this a cute kit? If you love blues and at home, I had it was books, it was fireplaces, it was yummy stuff. Um, I do have a cozy winter kit, and uh, yeah, I do have blue, this type of blue stuff too. But this is not all blue. This has just very little blue in here. I wanted a hint of blue, hint of green, hint of red. But I'm gonna pull the snowflakes because I never know. I'm gonna need a little extra decor. To add in so there we go okay but yes I have a box um, of Christmas stuff that is my winter that is my Christmas it's leftover pieces because I just don't have enough room to like hold all of this stuff it's just not even possible and how are we doing am I getting anywhere nope I'm not we're not getting anywhere I have a half hour to go and I don't even know okay so I know we want this <coughs> One sec. <laughs> now we know we want this, and I'm going to always trim it up. Mm. We need to keep it inside the thing because, again, when we fold this, we make sure everything can fold sort of shut. Because um, otherwise, if it can't shut, we're in big trouble. All right, so let's see if, as usual. Let's see if I can trim up this just a little bit. Oh, that was cute. Last week. Let's see you. No. I was like, um, in the midst of all this, I started my crafty week, and my daughter got crafty herself. And so she wanted to sew, try to make a tiny little shirt for a doll, I guess. But it came out really small, which means she couldn't get it actually on. <laughs> she didn't think about it. It's like, yes, yeah, so you have to get over the heads, though. So you've got to leave the back open and... I don't know, but she tried. She tried to hand, she hand stitch. She did stuff that was super cute. So now that I got my new, my new one, um, I think I'm gonna let the old, let the um, youngest use the old sewing machine because it does do, like my mom said, a straight stitch easily. So until it's absolutely toast, right? Until it completely falls apart, we might as well put it to good use. So I am going to put some glue up here. And um, anyway, so so she can. She's getting um, a wooden or a plastic action figure that's empty, like a, it's just a model doll, has no hair, no nothing, and so she can try to make clothes for it, so yes, using my straight stitch um, is going to be helpful, at least a straight stitch on it, um, she wants to make clothes, so she wants a Joanne's gift card so we can go get some flat fat quarters for her so she can do some making, it's definitely a sewing um, Christmas, my little niece wanted, she's six and wants to learn to sew. And um, her mom only has, it has some basics, you know, but that's Grammy's de department. So um, for Christmas, she wanted, you know, telling, she said, well, from Santa, I want a sewing machine. And my, my brother's like, no, 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 no. That's, yes, Santa's sweet and all, but that's a Grammy thing. Like, no, no, that's your grandmother. And, uh, you know, maybe she'll get you a sewing machine and give you a quick lesson. So when they were down at Thanksgiving, my mother you know, ran out there and, or got, got the sewing machine, but, um, you know, gave, so about, mm, about two hours with her and taught her all the, ba you know, the real basics to use her new machine with. And I guess she went straight home and she made pillows and blankets and, you know, simple stuff, not quite clothes yet, like she was hoping for, but now her mom can go buy fabric and little patterns or whatever. And she can try to make clothes for her dolls. But it, so she started it a week later, my, the week after my brother asked for that, um, and my mom had, you know, ordered her machine. <sighs> Mine falls apart, so then I'm like, crap. She's like, well, I'm on a, I'm on a run, so she's like, might as well. So she buys me mine for my birth, for my Christmas present. So I get that early. I'm so happy. All right, you need to behave yourself. Um, so that was sort of cute. And then, then you know, my daughter's like, oh, well, yeah, I want to, I totally want to, you know, sew stuff, mom. And I'm like, okay, so it's going to be one of those wi winters. We're going to be, you know, all of us are going to be crafting one way or another. It's super cute. Okay. Now I need this one. It's cold out here, but yet my, um, I'm trying to find out the fabric tack. 
my mom say? Fabri-Tac likes the heat, but glitter glue doesn't. No, Fabri-Tac doesn't mind the cold. That's right. Fabri-Tac doesn't mind the cold, but can't stand the heat. It gets all funky, which I found out over the summer. Glitter glue, on the other hand, needs something neutral. All right, so I think we're going to go that way. We're going to go up here. Like I said, I want to make this a belly band, and I have a feeling I'm going to have to put something down here because I'm not going to like it just open-ended. It's going to drive me insane. Now, the question is whether or not I want to glue the middle so that they are two pockets to um, hold smaller journal cards. I've done that before. Instead of constantly putting, trying to put large things in here, um, but right now I don't know. Let's see how this turns out and what fits in there, and then that'll determine if we want to, you know, glue it in the middle and make it to side pockets for easy access for smaller things to hold. Because you hate when your stuff falls out of your falls out of your belly band. It's so no fun. It's so no fun. Okay, so then the thought was to do this. I like it over the green for contrast. Plus, we're gonna have it go into here. And truthfully, if that one ends just right. Down here, I am not going to mind. Okay. I love this because it does have some potential on where you cut it. That, um, you know, it's not like a complete weird end. Um, now I could do it either way. I could end it with a flat there or a flat up there. Though I sort of like, I think I'd rather do it the other way. Yeah, we'll put a snowflake up here. So we have this. It's sort of layered, which is cute. Helps hide the top. And, gosh, you can tell this has been... Mm. It has been uh, in stuff. But there's sort of a top and bottom to it. So there's sort of a flat end and a, and a puffy end. And then we're going to just put it up here to where I know it's going to end right here. So it'll help sort of hide that. And this is bugging me. I thought I could handle it. And I can't. Um, hmm, I'm going to put something here. And I don't want to just put another piece of paper because that doesn't make any sense. I feel like it does need to be bordered with something. I just don't know what. Because I don't have any scraps yet for this. I don't have scraps for this kit yet. Um, I mean, I do have some green, but it's really bright, and I don't want to just put anything down there. I don't know if I want to do more lace or not. I just feel like really heavy on the lace, so I feel like maybe it does need to be a washi, or and all my washies are not that. Um, Printed washies are not that thick, and that burgundy is not going to work with that. I have a red and green. I could cut thin. Mm -mm. It's not all green. Oh, it's green and something else. I could do something like this. Really keep it. If I do it thin, I could just glue it down there. It's just a little something to hide it and then have it overlap. A little glitter. Maybe. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Well, yeah, I can't... You see, see, you can't go wrong with it, but... Yeah, it just, you know, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I wonder if... It's starting to stick already, huh? Sort of weird, but I'm wondering... What I sort of can, I know we have that as a solid end, but nothing else is solid. I don't know if I can do this. Let's see. I want to do a smidge of a. Nope, not really. I don't have a good way to do it. And then I'll have it stick to everything it's not supposed to stick to. There we go. Let's see. I want to try to see if I can do it just a little bit of a. Aha, I can. I know my fingers are going to totally screw this up, but we'll see. I'm going to try and do a little bit of a deckled egg on it so that it's not. If you don't rip it, you have to sort of, you know. All right, let's see if we can do this. I know other things aren't deckled, but see, it's not quite, still not quite, because I cut it short. That's okay. It's okay. Now it's actually pretty sticky. I was sort of shocked. Normally my stuff is not sticky at all. And we're going to cut it from the back side, I think. So that way I know exactly what I'm cutting off. And there goes my trim. Mm. There we go. All right. A little extra bling, a little extra glue. Yeah, I've got get my happy planner done this week, too. I'm totally behind schedule there. Put that there. Let's see how that sticks. Do, whoops, this way here. It helps a little bit. It's not as, ugh, not exactly, right? Not exactly. Oh, my goodness. 
I feel like it's just not working there. I am not having any luck here. We're going to layer it. I'm being weird. I'm nitpicking because I can't help it. I don't know why. Where are my... I don't know they're out. Yeah, my, my, I feel like my, my thing is a complete mess. I probably have my... Oh, there they are. I need my tweezers. And, you know, I've rearranged a few things. So now I'm trying to find it all. So we're going to get one panel done today. Not the panel I was expecting. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was not quite my plan. I was hoping to get into the other side. But that's a girl to do, right? I mean, we're doing this. Uh, I can't help myself. I'm like, oh, I can't help myself. About the same. It's layers, it's something, it's whatever. It's what we do to make it fit, to make it look pretty, to try and finesse it. And now I'm going to do, this is what I do in my happy planners. We have sort of the same concept where you layer it, you, you find ways to make it work because I'm sorry you know and actually I will do it we'll layer it out that way that's a little bit more the kitty cat's trying to get out she's so cute yeah she got out for a little bit today in the garage I was like mm, you can have a moment but then she realized I was going outside to get wood and she's like "Ooh," and I'm like yeah nope but she was a good girl she followed me right back in when I told her she couldn't go out she looked fine so she followed me back in the house so I was actually shocked she's adjusting there we go that's better it's layers it's ripples I just felt like we needed more. And then I'm just going to have to glue. Now I'm going to have to glue it because probably with all the stickings, that's actually doing pretty good. We'll keep an eye on it. I'll probably have to glue it at some point because it is just a paper sticker. This is usually doesn't rarely ever sticks on my paper the way I want it to. So I'm very stoked it's trying to stick out here. There we go. Okay. That's better. I'm happy with that. So let's get a nice bead of stuff. Now I'm going to probably put quite a bit of tacky glue because it's sticking right now. Um, tacky fabric, tack, whatever this is, um, all on this belly band because I'm not really in the mood to sit here with you guys and try to go to every little crevice. I may go back later, but I need to get a majority of this down so that it grabs everything it can on the delicate pattern of the snowflake. Usually you sit here and you glue the whole elements of the snowflake. You would do every, you know, if you were doing glitter glue, you could do the glitter glue and you'd go in with all of this. But by the time you get to the bottom, your glitter glue is dry. <laughs> As I'm finding out, I was like, oh, that doesn't work. So we're going to do this and let it, for the most part, press down. And watch, I cannot find my finger thing I should be using. My, not that it matters. My fingers are already doing their ordeal, but, hmm, okay. All right, one sec. I'm just going to have to suck it up. Nice thing is, yeah, not good, but what can I do? There we go. So, yeah, there is a glue. It will, underneath it, it will also rub it in here a little bit. It's not too much, obviously, showing, but it should dry just fine. And we just need to add a little bit down here because it is not on that part. We can even bring it together a little bit. It's very funny. It's almost like, um, makes me think of hot glue, some hot, the hot glue gun sometimes because of the, uh, how it strings out sometimes. I'm like, okay, that's, that works. Okay, well, not expected, but there we go. Okay, so that's done, and I have ugh, 20 minutes. Okay, well, let's get the other side started. Let's get this like under wraps because we got to trim it all up and make it work. So I am going to score this. Like I said, I want to put a smaller um, pocket near the top for a small journal card. And then we'll have the rest of it go straight down um, so I can put a large tag in it. And um, this is the only pocket that actually fits perfectly. Ta-da! All right. Now, I can do a combination of these two. I may do the green and the um, the bottom one and a little bit of a smoky and then use the red ones as the antique. So we're going to have a little bit of both on the distressing. Um, so that way it's not one or the other and it all sort of goes together. So there's the one. And I did that so that the pocket, when I glue it down, will stay at least right here. You can put the blue behind it. Now, here's the fun part. I have to cut, and I have to decide what to cut. 
So I don't want to lose much of him, but I don't know if I want to cut off the people. I think, though, I'd rather cut off people. Sad, huh? I'd rather cut the people off. But we definitely want to make sure it stays inside the uh, parameters of, you know, our fold. So I'm going to make a mark on the top and the bottom and match it up. And it's not perfectly straight, but that's, we're going to find the straightness of the, there we go. Now, uh, due to that, we're going to make this work a little better. And we're going to use the whole, we're going to do the rounder. We're going to actually use my round to finesse this if I can. It's being temperamental. Oh, you don't really fit the way I want you to, huh? And that one's really tight, so yeah, okay. Well, it has a little bit of a round at least. Um, because I have a much deeper round, I think, than even my, oh, my rounder. Okay, so there's that. And we're going to distress it so I don't forget. Because you know me, I get excited and I can't, um, you know, I forget to distress things and I start gluing things down. And now I'm trying to catch up the other way. That's never fun. Okay, we're going to get this, we're going to get the gist of this down. Because I am determined. Okay. But I cannot, let's see, I can glue that one down first, except I have to put the paper in there. So, oh god. So we were thinking the snow globe, huh? Really quickly. I wanted a snowflake, but I think I'd rather do the snow globe because it pulls from the bottom. Oh, come on. Getting caught. Come on. I want to cut off the edge enough here so I know exactly what I'm working with. So I'm not guessing at my spacing here. You don't need it anyway. I know it helps when you want to edge things, but don't let it throw it away. Okay, so if we want to cover this corner enough, we want to make sure that... Now, I could distress it like I did the other one. Cut these two edges off a little bit. Then I know exactly where to cut the other one. More blue, right? That, that's... We're going to just take a little bit off this edge. I do like the look. Oh, come on. Oh, that top edge is having issues these days. Kitty, stop. There we go. All right. And on the top, we want to make sure when it's distressed, it has that same look as next door. And we'll make sure everything is then the same. We'll make sure all the edges, since they have to fit inside the folds, um, oh, my edges aren't working, that... You know, we have this sort of deckled, roughed edge, which is a great feature. I know I didn't do it at the front. I sort of kick myself for not doing it on the front. But um, the paper itself is sort of ripped and stuff around it. So, all right. So, we're going to go across here. Nice thing is, mm, as usual, nothing is straight. All right. So, I need to cut inside of that. And then, if I use the usual, if I use this as our straight edge, like, okay, that's supposed to be the center, that's supposed to be the set, the straight one. And we're going to go mm, right along that edge. I will have to probably trim the top off a little bit to try to straighten that out. Because we know this is straight on the, on the sides. It's the top and bottom are straight. It's just the folds are not, not perfectly straight. Kitty, you're going to hurt yourself. Seriously, girl. We're going to go right inside it so that I know it sits inside. Um, but if that, like I said, this is my straight, then I'm going to need to take a little off the top because it is not straight accordingly. I think we'll see. All right. And after that, I don't know what else to do. All right. Let's de-stress the top here and down the side because we're going to see that with whatever shows up and a little bit of that top corner and okay so we're gonna glue that down we're gonna glue this one maybe right inside it if we can it can be layered it's all right i don't know if you're exactly how much i need and i'm gonna go a little bit below just in case there's a gap anywhere here when i'm stacking it and i'm stacking it and i need a little something we're gonna make sure we have a that little extra to play with so I'm not taking a chance of going, whoops, I cut that page short, and now we have, you know, a piece in the background that we see. Okay, so let's glue that down real quick. We're just going to start layering down because everything stacks on top of this. The green stacks on top of this one. And the red stacks on top of the green, you know, so on and so forth. So, But I do have to keep eyeballing it so that I don't over, overdo it, and then I have gaps where I don't want them. Don't want that. 
Oh, I'm trying not to. Oh, I'm getting my head. I guess I bring. I'm trying to keep this in cute, and then I'm in with my hair in there. Well, it's curly at least. Hair is cute and curly. Went ahead and did a. I guess it was considered a wolf. What they call it? wolf cut. We just pull all to the top of your head, and you you trim some inches off, and it all gets layered. Loving it. Um, yeah, did that yesterday because it's just getting too long. Oh my gosh, my hair is getting so long. It's really starting to irritate me. It's a lot of curls, which is great, but, um, oh my gosh, yeah, I just, I'm like, nope, a little too long. More I need the layers on the top. I need it a little shorter on the top. And then, um, you know, it's just keeping it healthy. I don't know when the last time I cut it, and I thought I trimmed it a little bit after the funeral. It was really long, but I don't know if it feels like it's already grown back out. If I did, if I didn't, well, then I'll explain it, but I've cut Lizzie's twice. Two or three times. I cut it, we trimmed it off a little bit for, I think we cut it before pictures. Or, I, yeah, trimmed it before the funeral, or I don't know. I trimmed it, and then I know I touched it up for the for the photos. That I, Oh, yeah, I cut, touched it for the photos, cut it again, and then we realized we had a really, the long part was just, there's not a lot of it. I was like, okay, the longest part, there's really not much there, honey. Like, I think we've, t this isn't working. So we cut off all that little sort of scraggly long part up to match the rest of it and it's so cute oh my god it's super layered super cute it's just just below her collarbone which is fine and um i'm sorry guys i am totally in the picture in there so what i'm trying to do though is before it gets too dry is to put some in here make sure that that pocket down there is not missed out but then i'm you know sort of bubbling it a little bit so it does have the ability to stick something in there and not go through by accident. We'll make sure we can get something in there, but it doesn't get caught. So we have that that for a reason, but I do want to, you know, want that down. It's a weird. I didn't I didn't put a desk on this side. I didn't think about it after the fact. So it's okay. All right. Voila, we're getting somewhere. I mean, I mean, actually get this part laid out. So for those of you who are making it here to the end, he he he. You know, see, that's what I was worried about. So this tip these two have to come together in a way where um you don't see like the blue and i could let the blue show but that bugs me so we're gonna glue them right where things mat meet so that um you know that stops here but that's gonna be a pocket all the way down so none of this is gonna get glued on the bottom just down the sides so what i do need to do though is make sure on each one of these if it's in the right spot that um There we go. Okay, that we mark it in the right spot. So, if you made it this far, you've watched the whole video, which I really, really appreciate when you do that. It helps with my analyticals. It helps with the, not with the analogs and the things for YouTube. You are also hearing about the giveaway. So, I am almost there, ladies and gentlemen. I am almost there for 300 uh, subscribers. Big deal for me. It's taking me forever. Um, so, if... Mm -hmm, you were watching this. I know some of you share a lot of things, but if you can, let's see if we can share it through YouTube, send it to your friends and people who you know have not, for some reason, started watching me, and let's see if we can get over 300. Okay? The moment I get over 300, to everybody who commented here to, at the end and mentioned the word giveaway, if you need to put in your, you can comment all you want, but you need to comment giveaway, because there's nothing mentioned in the title that this is a giveaway. So you need to mention the word giveaway. You need to sh try to share it every way possible so we can get those 300. And the moment I see 300 subscribers, and of course, please, if you subscribe, because you want to, not just for the giveaway, because you happy to catch it here at the end, I'm going to give away a couple things. I know you guys asked for both digitals too, but I'm going to give away the center fold shaker page. I'm going to give away the Cozy Cup uh, Travel a decorative Christmas cover. Of course, you can always throw it in your journal. I don't care, but I made it for really pretties to put it to use on your traveling, uh, like Starbucks cups or whatever, or you do a lot of take a lot of to go mugs. These are great, and a five dollar coupon. Okay, whoever I give it to for a digital kit. Now my get my most of my kits are four ninety nine. So a five dollar coupon gets everything, but you know the tax. God forbid you have to pay tax. I'm so sorry if you do. Um, gets everything but the tax covered. Right, five bucks gets you. You're tax free on your Etsy things, a free digital. So how's that? A little bit of everything. You get a little packet from me that I'll, I'll mail to you for your charge. I'll even pay for the shipping and a five dollar coupon for a digital. So please share it. Let me know if you shared it. 
and put the word you have to put the word give or uh, giveaway give away in a comment so I need to see a giveaway comment and I need I hope I hear a normal comment from you guys what are you doing what are you working on was this any fun to watch do you want to see more should I just throw it together and do a reveal on it I don't know that's I was supposed to be there yeah, we're gonna start to log we're gonna supposed to just cover in the um, piece of paper and I gotta take one of the one of the images one of the sides glue it down and we're gonna glue in that flap I have to decide how much I'm gonna decorate that flap um, so that we can did I cover it or no I cut it enough I feel like I came up short and I need to take a little more off mm. This is where, yeah, I want to, well, we're just, I think it's fine once I get it all glued. Okay. So, yes, there we go. I am, like, I think two or three away from 300. So, come on, ladies, help me out here. Get a chance to win, win some handmade things for me and possible free digital, right, up to five bucks. I have a couple kits that are bigger than that, but most of my kits are three, or four ninety nine. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Really quick, I know there's not much left to say, but I hated to leave you like that. Phone call came through. I forgot to do the Do Not Disturb. Um, but thank you all for coming in and enjoying this video, liking, loving, commenting. Like I said, if you um, got to this point, then please comment, give away, share, like, sub you know, subscribe, um, and let me know how things are going. If you want to see more of this, you want me to keep going, show it off, the front cover the works. Or whether this was a great little introduction and you're totally cool with just a final flip through. So lots to comment on. Uh, like I said, share it so we can hit the 300. And then I can pick on my next video um, the giveaway. Um, and I will be super stoked to be able to get send out a little Christmas goodies and coupon to those who, of course, participated. So I love you all. Thank you so very much as we finish this. This not too shabby right we have a belly band we have a, a stacked pocket page and um the you know that's that's two-thirds of the way finished um just something pretty simple before adding in the journal so i love you all thank you so much and i will speak to all of you very soon have a great day